Hello, my darlings. Happy Wednesday to all of you and welcome back to Let's Build the Worlds. Oh. And welcome to part three of Berry Cloth Antiques. We are continuing on with the backyard area, the kind of salvage yard and warehouse area. We're joined by the lovely Blue once again as well. So that's what we're going to get done today. I think we're going to concentrate mainly on the salvage yard area and we'll make a start on the kind of warehouse slash workroom area as well. That is what we're gonna do. Yes, we are indeed. I'm um, sorry about the lack of videos yesterday. I just didn't have time to create one. It got to around about three o'clock and I only, I, two o'clock-ish. And I only kind of thought, shit, I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to record and edit and everything now. So you'll have to excuse me, but I did get up a Twitch best of, which is just a collection of clips of funny happenings on my Twitch. If you wanna go and see that, I know a lot of you enjoy them. Um, then it's there for you to watch now. But if not, let's continue on, get into this game and start building. So here we are then, my darlings, back at Berry Cloth Antiques. If you remember last time, we just made a start on the back area here. Um, and I think I like the way it looks. I do like the way it looks. I like the way it kind of just, it feels natural to me. It just feels like a real place. And I'm for that, very much for that. Um, so what we're doing, the salvage yard area, lots of garden, like old garden furniture, statues, maybe some other bits that I can find. I'm going to go ahead in a minute and go into the live edit and pull out loads of stuff for us. And then also this little warehouse slash workroom area. I might even try and put like a classic car in here if I can find a classic car. Uh, I just think it would work well. Work well. Maybe you tinkers around with that as well. We does all kinds of things, does our Graham. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. That is what we're going to concentrate on today. And then tomorrow, we might make our way into the main shop area. Um, that is what we might do. You guys had so many great ideas about what to use this for up here. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to go with yet, but it's definitely going to be one of your guys' ideas. So keep an eye out for that as well. So let me go in to live edit, grab lots of lovely things, and we'll start putting putting it into the salvage yard. Okay, I delved in and we've delved back out. And I think all of this kind of stuff would just really suit being in a salvage yard. As things I've come across in a salvage yard before, including telephone boxes, they had a telephone box. I think it was about £3,000 they wanted for it. They had a real British telephone box uh, in the salvage yard one and it was immaculate and bright red so we're going to put you down first darlings now I'm thinking we're going to try and kind of do some rows of things so like the, the customers have got sort of like alleyways to go up and down and just have a little nose at all of the bits and bobs that are for sale the only problem with this being debug setting these for sale I think they'll just be free <laughs> which is not what I want but just pretend for storyline purposes that won't happen that won't happen but i think a lot of the debug stuff will be free um which is not good which is not good because it is not free you don't get stuff for free at salvage yards well sometimes you do sometimes you do um i wouldn't imagine cannons would be free though just saying uh we're gonna do some of these chairs as well let's flop a couple of these out i think we'll do in fact i'm gonna put them in this kind of orientation around there i'm talking like um the Dowager Countess as well. I went to watch the new Downton Abbey movie the other day. Um, and I liked it. I did like it. It wasn't amazing. Um, but it was still good. I really enjoyed seeing everybody together. And then what did it do? It made me miss Downton Abbey. So what have I started doing, loves? I've started watching it again. <laughs> for the 20th time. Oh, I just love it. It is my feel-good um, program, Downton. I just... I'm just in love with it. I think I'm going to turn... No, I'm not. I was going to change them to grey, but now I've seen them together. I think that looks quite nice, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. Bring out a flagpole as well. I wouldn't necessarily say this flagpole is for sale. I just thought it would have suited this um, this garden, this salvage yard. And I'm for it. Absolutely for it. How are you? I, th I haven't spoke to you yet, have I properly? Because we didn't bring a video out um yesterday. I uh, hope you all had a lovely weekend. I did. I had a nice weekend. Uh, went to the Eden Project with my sister. Um, took my mum and dad out for roast dinner. It was all very nice. Very nice family time. Um, me and my sister never get to hang out just by ourselves. So it was nice just me and my sister doing something. Um, it was really cool. Really, really enjoyed it. Uh, and I love the Eden Project as well. It's very expensive to get in though. Uh, especially if we're not a local. I'm classed as a local because it's Cornwall and I live in Devon. And Devon and Cornwall are 
very close to each other. Um, but it was still good. It was good. It was really good. Uh, has anybody been to the Eden Project in the comments? Let me know. Let me know, darlings. Now, I thought some nautical things would match well in here. Um, because we're by the sea. It's Brenderton Bay. So they've probably got a little... A little, a little, a little a lot of history with that kind of thing um so we're gonna yeah we're gonna flop in a little bit of nautical themage now they're probably gonna trip over that when they're going past but they're just gonna have to try not to aren't they they're just gonna have to try not to where do i want you i think i'm gonna put you there actually in fact i'm gonna do a couple of you a couple of you for sale oh stunning how much are they are they free yeah see they're debug stuff I'm worried that they're going to be free. I don't want them to be free. Statues, you can all come down here. I'll start with you in a second. You down there as well. You look very statuey. So do you and you. Um, yeah, the, the nautical stuff's all here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put the the ship helm here. That's what I'm gonna do. Yes, I am. Um, this has scabby bikes for sale as well. <laughs> this moss-ridden bike. So. Make of that what you will. This chicken that is on top of a watering can, because why not? I think that water comes out of that. We'll, we'll, um, we'll come to that as it happens. Uh, I'm going to size this duck up, because who doesn't like a big duck? Not me, darling. I absolutely love a big duck. Uh, and I'm going to do a couple of these as well. A couple of these really cute little um, pigs. I love these. I think these would match very well out in this garden. Um... Let's flop you either side here. Yeah, going down and out. That just brings, I don't know, that makes it feel like a salvage art to me with all these little, like, alleyways here. Not alleyways, but um, aisles. Uh, and I'm for that. So let's start doing another one here, actually. I could probably put the statues there. Couldn't I? I could put the statues along here. It's making me want to put, like, a fence up on here, but I don't think I'm going to. And I'm worried that this might be a little bit too light and that's a bit too dark. Oh, we'll go for those. We'll go for those colour. We'll go for the, the brun ones. I think those would just match well in here. Some lovely statues. Bird table. We did have another bird table. There we go. Little cheeky bird table there. Oh, pig with a menu. Let's put you next to the other pigs. There we go, darling. Um, a little Roman column. Is that floating? Why are you floating? Well, I'm going to put you there instead then. Little Roman column. Maybe you could use that as, I don't know, an end table in the garden or something. Um, useful. Everything's useful. Uh, apart from that moss-ridden bike. Because who wants a moss-ridden bike, as far as I'm concerned? I'm going to finish this off by putting two of these, like, next to each other here. Yes! Oh, the bollards. We've got a few of these bollards as well. Uh, I've seen some of these for sale as well. Like, the old, really heavy bollards so i just thought this would work well out here and a collection my loves of gnomes i'm gonna put the chicken next to the duck uh the, the chicken looks like he's looking up at the duck <laughs> mate you are fucking massive how did you get so big why am i like this why am i like this i don't know gnome collection because gnomes gardens gnomes all goes together stunning we're gonna do that we're gonna flop some gnomes out here Beautiful little array of um, garden gnomes going on there. Oh, that's cute. You see what I mean? It just gives it a little bit of an interest when it's got alleyways because you can wander down and have a little look at everything. Yeah, I'm kind of into that. I'm into that idea. They do need some lighting back here, but I don't know how I'm going to do that just yet. Um, What I want to do now is... Probably, yeah, probably choose some lighting, actually. I think we're going to choose some lighting. So I would love it to have, like, festoon lights back here, but it. I think it would look better with just some, like, what lights we got going on here? They're a bit fancy. They're a bit fancy. I was going to do, like, maybe... Do you know what? Actually, we'll do that. Are they cats and dogs lights? Do we need... To, oh, God, here we go. Do we need to go into debug to get these? I hope we don't um outdoor lights oh no they're here look i'm gonna do you in a coppery color though yes i'm gonna do one here like that and we're gonna put one around here as well let me have a little look at you uh, they're not giving me vibes back here i won't lie no no i'm gonna do floodlights instead i think i think i'm gonna do floodlights back here uh and i cannot remember for the life of me where they are so let me find one 
I ended up going for these instead. The ones from Outdoor Retreat. I just think they work well. They just blend in with the build a little bit more than what those fancy ones did. Uh, and I've also put some of the fancy ones that's out the front there. And a couple of the security lights on the uh, kind of warehouse area. So because of gardening and whatnot, I'm thinking we need some like planters. So I think I'm going to stack a few of these planters. And I reckon they sell these as well. Uh, so we'll stack a few here. Oh, oh, how dare you let me move away like that. How dare you? <laughs> I sounded like Greta Thunberg then, didn't I? How dare you? M amazing girl. Doing all she can to save this planet. At least someone is, you know. That's all I can say. And I do not like horrible memes about her. Because that is a child. Well, is she a child? She's more of a teen now, isn't she? Still not right. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. For goodness. Right, a few, maybe some of the square ones. Yeah, maybe we'll flop a couple of them in as well. And I know that those are in, are they in debug or live edit? They're in one of them. They're in one of them, darlings. There they are. Let's do some of these instead. We'll do a stack of these. Maybe he makes these. Yeah, I'm going to say that. These are for sale. I reckon Graham makes them himself. Very talented is our Graham. Our Graham, that reminds me of Scylla Black. God rest her soul. Um... If you aren't sure what Scylla Black is. Scylla Black was a icon, a British icon. And she was a um, talk show host. She was, God, a game show host. She was a singer. She was everything. And she tragically died. Um, but I loved Scylla Black. Absolutely loved Scylla Black. Absolutely for it. Right. I think this little salvage yard area is done. I do love how that looks actually I really do I think that's going to really come into play oh I hope we can sell a lot of those items that would be lovely so I've pulled out a classic car we've gone for a Land Rover I did pull out that but eh, we've got this now so what I'm thinking I'm going to put the car let me just see if this light is going to disturb oh god you will disturb that always disturbing things you are so I'm going to just put two of these in here. In fact, I kind of like the fact that it gives off a little bit less light in here. Yes. Yeah, it gives it a bit more moody. Moody. I'm going to put the car here. I reckon he's tinkering, tinkering around with this car. Trying to get it work, but he's had no luck with it. But he doesn't want to sell it. It's not for sale. Um... And that is the storyline. I'm going to put some leaking petrol underneath of it, I think. Or leaking oil. I don't know. I don't drive. Yeah, there we go. Stunning. Now what I was thinking is just having this as like a tool area. So this can be like maybe where he gets a lot of his... Well, it does a lot of his woodworking and stuff. In fact, I'm going to put them this way instead. I'm going to whiffle you to there. Do another one there. And I'm going to whiffle you to here and put another one there but that's not um equal yeah yeah i'm gonna do that so storage area and then workshop area here so we're gonna need a woodworking bench and i think we're gonna need a lot of other things so i'm gonna go once again pull out lots of objects and we'll place them around together okay we've started to pull out a few things here and there uh we'll go ahead and place all of this around together in just a sec but I just thought this here would just work well, being a little tool station. He's got his little welding gear down here by the car. Um, various other little bits. Some storage bits here. Still want to fill this up, but I don't know what I want to put there just yet. So I'm just going to leave it for a second. Um, and we're going to start placing this around together. Journey 2 by 2 came in handy with these items. I just think they suit this kind of like warehouse look. So that's what we're going to go with today. Yes! My loves, we are. I also put on a little drainage pipe out here and a power bank as well. So that's where, that's how this place is powered. All of the power tools and whatnot. Um, workbench. This is going to be the only playable item in here, really. But um, it's worth it for those realism things, you know. That's what we're going to do. We're going to flop a couple of you up here as well. Lots of wood. Lots of wood around the place. I reckon he salvages like driftwood makes objects from driftwood furniture mirrors that kind of vibe um so that's what we're gonna do so i might put these over here actually i think they would work a bit better over this area 
we'll put some of these. I mean, can I spin you around, please? Thank you. Got beauty about there, my darling. There we are. Yep, yeah, that looks part fine there. Uh, oh, actually, that's where I wanted to put that. Just all the, yeah, we'll do that instead. I could still put these down here, but maybe I could put them a bit more around this area here if I can fit them in without it cutting into anything too badly. Oh, that wasn't too bad. That little spot there, that was the spot, darling. Ah, oh. oh, there we go. Not cutting into anything. Beautiful. Uh, this object here, never seen this object before in my life. <laughs> never seen it before where are you from uh you are from get to work so that has been out since the game has been out and i've never seen it before in my life <laughs> but i just think it suits being in this again warehouse vibes loves warehouse vibes this little storage unit i'm going to put you behind here beautiful um are those separate no i was wondering what they were then little plank of wood some more little logs of wood here as well so we'll flop a couple of these around um we'll put them in this kind of fashion around there this little power bank here i'm thinking about putting it here so it could look like he could use all of his electronic tools on his workbench there uh, and i'm kind of fine with it i'm kind of fine with it i still want to stick a few things up on here um but i might wait until we're in the in interior and we could maybe stock up a couple of extra things that he's going to sell in here and stuff i would kind of like that vibe to be honest with you but i'm kind of think this is how i want this to be i might even do i might do some drains in here actually oh i could use the ones from journey to batu in this um establishment i could size them down i'll do one like here and i'll do another one maybe around here like there yes yeah i'm into that I'm into it. So again, there's not much playable in here, but mm, we're not really looking for that. The playable area is going to be the main shop and salvage yard. This is just going to be an area for him to come in and do his do his manly things. You know, not saying that all of that is manly. Thank you. But we are going to be back with this tomorrow, my darlings. We're going to come back and we're going to finish. Well, we're not going to finish. We're going to make a start on the interiors to the shop. Uh, and you'll find out what I'm going to utilize this for from one of your guys' ideas. Um, and we'll make a start on that. I reckon we've got another two parts of this to go. I reckon we've got another two parts of this to go. Still want to do a bit more here as well. Um, oh, saying that, actually, let me go and find that object. Uh, maybe I could find it with you. With you. I don't know why I'm singing. But one of you lovely said, why don't you put like a, a gate here? Um, and there is that like big, this one. Oh it, oh, it fits a dream. Oh, we like that, don't we? Yes. So there's kind of some security back here of all the stuff, you know? So people are not going to just wander in. Oh, we do need to put some cameras around, actually, thinking of that. Um, so I think we're going to do that. I'm going to pretend that that swings open. Yes. Oh, I do like that. That's really cool. That fits that art perfectly. Um, so while we're here, let me get that camera. Where's that security camera, please? There she be. We'll flop one of these security cameras. We'll do it in a white up there. And then we'll do another one. So it's kind of camouflaged. And we'll do another one here as well. Yes. Oh, I'm feeling the vibes, loves. Feeling the vibes of that. So yeah, as I said, I'll be back tomorrow. And we'll continue on. Uh, again, get some lovely ideas down. What do you see in here? I've got lots of things in my head. Furniture, bookcases, tables, chairs, rugs, mirrors, clocks. That's the vibe I want in here. Um, but as a blue, can you stop storting, please, in the background? Thank you. Um, but I, I love listening to your ideas, my love. So if you've got them, continue on with it. I will be back again, as I said, three times now with this tomorrow. I'm live on Twitch as well. We've got some lovely new emotes that I want you guys to see on Twitch. Um, so come on over, 7pm GMT. But if not, I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.